Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Universal Studios Hollywood to film a merchandise update for you. So let's get going. And of course we are going to start right here at the front of the park. Now I have never done a merchandise update at Universal Studios before. So this is going to be all new. We're not going to show every single item in the store, but we are going to show um, all the stores throughout the park and a brief overview of what you can expect to find in them. This is the Universal Studios store at the very front of the park, and we do have a lot of Super Nintendo World, uh, Super Mario merchandise available between plushies and cups and mugs and t-shirts, pins, and more. And then this store actually spills into um, just like a, a general character area, and then beyond that is a Harry Potter area. The Harry Potter area has a few food items that you can find over there in Hogsmeade, but they're also available at the Universal Studios store. Additionally, you can purchase a Hedwig shoulder pet or those house robes and uh, their apparel. You can also check out the wide variety and selection of wands here too. They're all available for purchase right before the exit to the park. If you're looking for power-up bands over there in the Super Nintendo area, just actually exit the store and we're gonna walk across the way to the Super Nintendo World store. Uh, this has been up here for over a year now. I'm not sure if this is intended to be permanent because they do have Super Mario right next to it. Um, but over here you can purchase the power-up bands plus additional other Nintendo apparel. Ooh, look at this. This Bowser plush has stuck out to me. Let's take a look at the price of this guy. $40. And I will tell you that this is a pretty sturdy and well-made plush. We have a Bowser cup. Now this is plastic despite its appearance and it is $10. And we have a Bowser t-shirt which is $30. Now this has a sort of like a jersey feel material to it. It's not standard cotton. There are even some Mario Kart specific merchandise items in here. I love this player one and player two t-shirts. These ones are slightly cheaper at 27. Throughout the park today, I have seen a ton of people wearing these different hats and headbands. The plush type headbands are $25 and the hat style ones are $39. And so this part's on your head and then they do have like a chin strap here as well. There is just so much more merchandise in this store. Again, we can't look at all of it. As we exit that building, this one straight ahead is the Universal Studios store that we saw earlier, but there is another portion to that building. You do have to exit over here and then cross over to here, but it still says the Universal Studios store. And this is another large store, again, located right outside of the theme park gates or entrance. Right now, Universal Studios Hollywood is celebrating its 60th anniversary of the studio tour. And so it has a special merchandise and food also throughout the park celebrating the studio tour. Oh look, more Harry Potter merchandise. This actually connects over to the other store. So um, even though it actually is two different buildings from the outside, you can access uh, the entire store without actually leaving the building. And so we have a lot more Harry Potter merchandise over here. We're not gonna focus on the prices and things in here because we'll look at that when we get over to Hogsmeade itself. Uh, for now, we're just gonna focus on this sort of merchandise that's general to the studio store. See some ET over there? They don't have an ET attraction here anymore, but they still have ET merchandise. I see Fast and Furious merchandise. I see a bunch of just other sort of universal properties like we've got Back to the Future and Jaws. There's so much in here. Felix the Cat. Uh, the fuel rod station is in here in the studio store. We've also got just general apparel. Uh, this one's Transformers specifically. Uh, the general apparel, there were some flip flops back there. And more Transformers. Ooh, look at this. That looks, this is a heavy, heavy mug, 27 bucks. Very good quality mug. And then we have another one over here, probably the same price. 
for um, Optimus Prime. On this side of the store, we find some Springfield Duff uh, Simpsons merchandise. And some Universal Studios 1912. This water bottle caught my eye. And we got $27. Not bad. This hat also caught my eye as well, $28. It is a snapback style. Check this out, some, uh, well, it's not Jurassic Park specific, but we have a Don't Feed the Dinosaurs coaster here. And then we have the studio tour, this is how we roll. A set of four coasters. Oh, I gotta say, can you see them on the back? We've got a Hogsmeade and then Waterworld. So kind of like the, the four biggest attractions here. Um, Waterworld, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, and studio tour. This was obviously made before Super Nintendo World, probably. Whoa, check this out. Big King Kong statue. Final battle, 3,500 bucks. Speaking of Jurassic Park, they do have their own merchandise up here as well for Jurassic Park, but we'll spend a lot of time looking at it down in the actual area in the lower lot. Ooh, check this mug. Winning one dog. Whoa, cool Jurassic Park chess set. James would love this. He loves chess. Who am I kidding? I would love this. Look at those pieces. Oh, this is so cool. 60 bucks, no wonder. This looks, this looks amazing. There are a lot of stores here at Universal, so this video may take a while. We're gonna go over to the Illumination building next, where we're gonna find a lot of, of course, Minion merchandise. What is this, Agent Tim? What is the price? Ah, $27 if you'd like Agent Tim. And then they have Mega Minion Gus, too. A Minion Dave Cup. This is probably plastic. It is. And it's probably $10. It is. So you can collect uh, multiple types of cups in this style. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. I love fluffy. Is it, is it fluffy? Sort of. Kind of. They have all sorts of fluffy unicorn merchandise. They uh, have extra fluffy stuffies over here. $35 and oh, yep, very, very fluffy. It's just, it's, it's all over the place. Lots and lots of it. Ooh, look at this. This has like uh, the mane or whatever it is, I don't know. Another cup, fluffy unicorn, probably 10 bucks. Here's a Max Secret Life of Pets mug. Let's check the price. Probably 27 in that range. Nope, 19. This one's much cheaper. This store is not limited to illumination though, uh, but that's probably because we are outside of another door. We've kind of shifted. That's the illumination door over there. And we've shifted into another portion of the building here. And this one's got some Scooby-Doo stuff. And Shrek. DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. There's also some Jurassic Park merchandise over there. And more Simpsons. Oh! 17, this is not bad. This is a decent mug, I like it. Well, I'm not a big Simpsons person, but my dad was. We popped out of that store, and where are we gonna go now? Uh, let's head down towards Secret Life of Pets see what we can find down this direction. The entrance to the Secret Life of Pets is down at the end of this road. However, the ride exits at the Pets store, which is over here off to our left. And this has, of course, what you would expect. Pets merchandise, stuffies, t-shirts. Uh, actually, this t-shirt was over at the other store, as was this mug. So uh, some of the few same things. They also have, oh, look at this, some pet apparel. Here's just a quick pan of some of the items that are available for purchase in this store. 
Oh look, we have a, another mug that was very similar to the Max one. This one says Chloe. So Universal is really good about having a variety of different collector type cups and mugs. Look at this Chloe backpack. I, I don't think it's a lounge fly. It doesn't look like it's lounge fly, um, but it's very similar to that sort of a style. Just a little bit bigger. Uh, than a lounge fly usually would be. And that was it, pretty small store in there, not a whole lot of merchandise to go around. Now we're gonna look for some more. Probably the next thing we're gonna find is minion related, which is gonna be around the corner. Wow, there's a lot of people over here at the moment. I don't think I've ever seen Super Silly Funland this busy. It might be because it's pretty warm right now, like 84, 83, 84 degrees. It sounds like there's a lot of people over in the uh, splash play area here. But we're coming over to look at the merchandise. They do have some games that you can play, and of course you can win some prizes over here at Banana Cabana. You can win, it looks like, one of the fluffy unicorn flushes as like the big prize. Then they have a couple other smaller prizes. This one is Minion oh, Mishap. Got the corner shot. Super Silly Space Killer. Two players minimum. Here's a couple of the prizes hanging at the top here. And the Minion Toss Basketball for all. And again, a couple of the prizes that are available here. I'm not sure if this is the name of the store, but there's a sign here saying to go to Super Silly Stuff. This is the store that is the exit to the ride. This is what I'm going to assume is the largest Minion store. Universal. A couple items here on display. This store has a bulk candy section where you can make your own little grab bag. It says it's $17 per pound. Ooh, now here's a lounge fly. We have the evil minion lounge fly. We have a wallet, cross body bag, and a backpack. Three different types that are available here. A couple other evil minion merchandise items, including the sun hat. I like it. Is it? Uh, has it got something else? No, it's just the the purple on the inside or the lavender. Yes, Villain Con. That was James's favorite game over at Universal Hollywood or Orlando. My bad. Uh, we've got this nice tumbler here. $21, 21 ounces. A little Villain Con wallet. Villain Con International sign. There's a backpack over here too. Nice, I like the backpack. That backpack is $50. This is just really awesome. All the merchandise here looks great. Here is a Minion mug. Doesn't this look good? $17. There is some more fluffy unicorn merchandise in here as well. Check out this hat. I like it. <laughs> $25. They've got a sweatshirt in this similar sort of style. And I don't know if this is a different hat or if it's just reversible. Oh, yep, it is. It's reversible. So this is the other side of the hat that we just looked at. As with any of my merchandise videos, it is helpful to remind you that these exact items may not be here when you visit. However, I always like to show you what's generally available in the store. It'll give you an idea of the types of things they sell. Uh, they might not have the exact item, but they definitely will have something similar. The merchandise at Universal so far is looking really great. All we've ever done before is Disney merchandise. I'm not sure that there's anything else down this direction by way of merchandise. I think we'll have to head on over into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter next. As I stepped into Hogsmeade, I just realized that there is a store here I didn't know about. This one has some um, Hogwarts Express merchandise. Ooh, more ornaments and more apparel. Hogwarts Express. I like this Hogsmeade shirt. Is that a, oh, is that a magnet or something? Yeah, wow, that's a heavy duty magnet. Hogs headed Hogsmeade glass. We have a water bottle. And a shirt. Ah, uh, classic platform nine and three quarters. 
$37. Here's a pillow. This looks like a pillow. Ooh, it says platform nine and three quarters on the other side. $35. I like that. And then there's a Hogwarts Express uh, wall decor item. First up on our left is going to be Honey Dukes. Honey Dukes is going to have some of that candy that we showed you earlier. Yeah. Except in here we have a wider variety of candies available from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like chocolate frogs, Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans, Fizzing Whizbies, Exploding Bonbons, and more. And they were just telling me that um, they've got different types of chocolate here. This one's dark chocolate, so that's interesting. You have to pay attention to what you're grabbing. And this one is white chocolate. There's some Honey Dukes merchandise in here too. Some tea towels, a hat, but check this out. Is this a lounge fly? Mm, I don't see the lounge fly logo, so probably not. Priced at $82 though. Ooh, we even have some plates in here. Birdie Bot's plate, 17, and a Honey Duke's mug, 21. Back in this little alleyway here, I found a dervish and banges. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't think I've ever been in this store before. How have I never even come into this store? Wow. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, got all the different house merchandise here. Really nice looking stuff too. This one has a high quality sweatshirt. <laughs> it better be high quality for $70. Gryffindor tumbler here, water bottle. $22. Slytherin keeper, Gryffindor keeper, $40. Sound off in the comments what house you are. I am definitely a Slytherin. I know that, that it doesn't seem like that, but that but I am. In another room, here's a whole bunch more merchandise. Check this out, light up brooms. Cool. $34.95. I like it. Ooh, look over here, we have some Christmas ornaments. Hogwarts Christmas ornament, this is really high quality. $19. We have, oh, Harry and Ron sweaters. I love it. I love it, love it, love it a lot. $22 for that. And we've got some ties, $17 for the different house ties. And then we also have a Hogwarts kind of like half globe here. This looks like it's gonna be the most expensive and it is a 25. Right next to that, they have these little mini backpacks. Uh, again, one for all of the different houses. $65 for the mini backpack. Yes, <laughs> you can buy the sweaters. You can buy the, the full size sweater. No price though. We're just moving from room to room in here. We've got a, a different like uh, the books. You can purchase the books, the school books. These are probably journals. Um, yeah, lined journals, so they're blank. But the, the journals have the different uh, school books that they have. Defense Against the Dark Arts, Basics for Beginners. Ooh, they have the Tales of Beetle the Bard, too. And just some generic Hogwarts ones. And different bundles, gift bag set down there. This book caught my eye. This is like really high quality. We have a crest there. And then it, it even has like stylized uh, spine there. And this one is 25. Also available in all four houses, as well as the Hogwarts crest. This must be the Owlry that we're in at the moment because you can buy a lot of different flushes in here, including Hedwig. Oh, it says Owl Post. That's what we were in, Owl Post. And uh, um, we were also in Glad Rags Wizard Wear. So all, all of those buildings were interconnected. Of course, Ollivander's is over here, and this is an experience, but you can get into Ollivander's if you actually head through uh, Whisker's Wizarding Equipment. There are some Hogwarts uniform items in the Wizarding Equipment store. Uh, the different robes for the different houses, and of course the ties as well. And it looks like we even have some scrunchies. Not only that, however, there are some other 
Wizarding World sort of themed merchandise like the Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows mug caught my eye, especially with that handle. $21. Looks like they also have some of the Prophecy Orbs for sale in here. If the 55 attached to that one is to be believed, that's what that costs. I can't really tell if there's a price on the other one. And again, that store spills out into this one. And this is Ollivander's, and there are tons and tons of wand choices in here. It also has engraving available as an option. And that was it for Hogsmeade. There is one more major store down this way, and there's also a little kiosk for wands down here too. We'll show that to you. Now the main store down this way is at the exit to the attraction for Forbidden Journey, but here is the little wand kiosk. Uh, same wands that they have at Ollivander's, actually probably a little bit smaller selection. And the main store is gonna be Filch's Emporium. Once again, this store is at the exit to Forbidden Journey. And it is quite large and extensive. There's a lot of stuff in here, but it's also fairly cramped. Uh, again, lots and lots of house merchandise. And there's the Slytherin one, Ambition, Cunning, Pride. I really like this tumbler. And oh look, it's a plastic cup in the similar vein that we saw before. Is it $10? No, this one's $12. Why? Because it has the Wizarding World of Harry Potter name on it. You could easily collect all four of these. Of course, that would be $48 if you got all four. I like this Gryffindor mug too. Nice little imprint there on the inside. $20. I didn't see one for Slytherin in this. Nope, no space for it. How about over here? Oh yeah, they have one for Ravenclaw. Wit. And they have one for Hufflepuff. Huh, bummer. Can't get one for all four. Dobby is a free elf. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow. This is heavy. This is high quality. What do we got here? No price. Price, price, price. Nope, no price. Lovely. I feel like they always do that on the stuff that you really want. They have the pumpkin juice sipper available for purchase inside the store. And there's a tag here that says it's $15 and your first fill up is free. And then refills are $4.29. More Wanda style merchandise, Wingardium Leviosa. Of course, we saw the Jurassic Park chess earlier. So we have wizard's chess now. Wonder if it's the same price. No price listed, but it was like, what, $60 for the Jurassic Park one? So this one's probably similar. There's a few wands for purchase in here as well, plus a Fantastic Beasts water bottle here. 27 for the Fantastic Beasts water bottle. Some winter apparel, gloves, scarves, socks, even some alumni gear. Water bottles, journals, mugs, pens, shirts. Truly, truly way too much in there to show everything. But I hope that gave you an idea. Really, really neat stuff in there. I love the Harry Potter apparel. We are coming into Springfield from the back end of Hogsmeade. And so uh, not like very scenic to look at as we come into this direction, but there is a store on the right, the Quick E Mart that we're gonna go check out. To my knowledge, this is the only little store here in Springfield. Oh, a whole line of Lard Lads donuts merchandise. This is a really small and tight store, so we're not gonna be able to look around a whole lot in here, but they do have a bunch of different plushes and t-shirts and apparel. That includes a whole line of Duff Brewery merchandise as well. Look, they have a Bart plush. Well, they have a Maggie plush too. Speaking of Bart, he and Marge are doing a meet and greet outside of the Quickie Mart. They have a lot of Midway style games here in Springfield as well. Here's just a brief look at some of the prizes that you could win at iCaramba. Oh look, they have a pillow down there. Ah, here's the pillow. Takes five in to win that. Bartman. 
Swing batter. Swing batter, 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 batter. This one is Wild and Willy. And I'm generally seeing it's the same sort of style of, of merchandise uh, that is mostly available at all of these. So I'm not sure we're gonna look at all of them because there's a ton of games. And I mean a ton of different games through here. Time to head down to the lower lot, see what merchandise awaits for us down there. The large majority of the stuff down here is actually food. I'm not even like super aware of merchandise down here except for two stores. Well, we'll poke around and see if we can find like maybe a transformer store or something. But uh, the only ones I'm aware of are Nintendo and Jurassic World. But we'll see. Bumblebee! Oh look, here's a store down by Transformers, Production Central. Let's go see what's in here. Yep, yeah, this one has a lot of Transformers merchandise in it. It's not entirely Transformers, but um, a good chunk of the store is Transformers, given that it is right next to the Transformers ride. But on this side of the store, they have some other things as well. I see E.T., uh, Out of Time, so Back to the Future. Retro Universal hoodie here. How much is this? $60. Pretty neat. Amity Island Shark Tours. $40. Hand wash. We have a Bruce plush. <laughs> 27 Bite me. Jaws. The original. Beach is closed. Nice mug. $20. Wear horror lips. 2024 Halloween Horror Nights merchandise making it out already. Blacklight Reactive Apparel. How about that? In here it looks like they have the Universal Monsters line of merchandise as well. Ooh, look at this. It's a little conglomeration of Universal Studios Hollywood. Hogsmeade, The Tram, uh, Waterworld. These are the, uh, the top three things here are on the coaster that we looked at earlier, as was this. So then these go along with it. Autobots, hello, and fight like a panda. And they have a picture frame. So all this line of merchandise must have come out before Super Nintendo World because uh, Super Nintendo World is not on any of it or they're not allowed to. You know what? It might be a licensing thing. They can't put anything Nintendo on here. You know, I think it definitely is a licensing thing as we head over to Super Nintendo World because if I remember, uh, the merchandise in Super Nintendo, well, actually not just in Super Nintendo World, but any Nintendo themed merchandise, the annual pass discount does not apply, uh, again, because of the licensing things. Last year, I had a silver pass, which was the cheapest, most affordable pass, but it had absolutely no discounts, no free parking, nothing like that. This year, I bought the gold pass. It was a like an extra $75-ish or something like that, maybe $100 but it's $35 for parking and the parking savings alone, if I come up here just four times, it's gonna save me $140 in parking. So I'm gonna save some money with that. And then the food, I get 15% on food. Have not bought any merchandise yet, so I'm not quite sure what the discount is on merchandise. But um, the, the savings that I'm getting just by having a discount because of the gold pass, it has been well worth the extra money to upgrade. Of course, power-up vans help you enjoy Super Nintendo World a lot more than just walking around this land because you can play the different games that they have in here. And um, you usually can buy power-up vans in here over there for $42 plus tax. But it looks like since the, the workers have gone home, they have brought down like uh, blinds on those. You can't buy them, but you should be able to over here at the 1UP factory. This, of course, being the primary store, and you get spit out here whenever you exit the Mario Kart ride. Way, way too crowded in there to continue filming, so I just had to look around, film some things. Um, pretty much everything in there was what we saw up in the upper lot in the different Super Nintendo World stores. However, I did find a line of mugs that I really liked. There was a Yoshi one, a Princess Peach one, and a Bowser one for $15. And um, yeah, it was really nice. They also had the full line of this $10 plastic cups in there if you were looking to collect every single one of those cups. And once we left Super Nintendo World, we ended up back out here for one final store, 
Jurassic Outfitters. And you're probably tired of me saying this, but this is the store that the ride spills out into. And uh, nice display here in the front. Jurassic World water bottle. Very nice. $25. I think what we're going to find in this store is a lot of kids themed things like I, I don't see an adult wearing one of these but maybe they would I don't know you let me know down in the comments if this is something that you would wear uh, $16 for these glasses we also have a chase and roar Tyrannosaurus Rex here Ooh, look at this towel very nice very nice they have a whole bunch of merchandise in this sort of color scheme. $55, tropical tie-dye. Here is a long sleeve shirt. Tropical T, 37. Ah, the back, that's where you get the tropical from. It's Mr. DNA. Hello, John, hello, John, hello, John, hello, John. They uh, absolutely dropped the ball by not putting Hello John on the side of this cup. 25 bucks. Here is a Loungefly style backpack. Definitely not Loungefly. I can tell just by touching it, but um, same size backpack. And they're probably gonna charge Loungefly prices. Oh, not quite, 55, okay. Whoa, a whole wall of like not typical merchandise, statuettes, Paintings, portraits, it's really cool. Jurassic World, the ultimate pop-up book, $75. Jeff Goldblum signed Jeep for $9.95. Smilodon statue, $9.25. Ooh, I love this one, Clever Girl. Clever Girl Deluxe, 400 <laughs> Barbasol. I don't think that can is for sale. I think that's just decoration. I don't think that's part of the, the statue here. Uh, yeah, Fallen Kingdom 750. The, the Barbasol is definitely not part of that. But they do have a replica canister for 550. They also have that chest set down here as well as that mug that we looked at up in the studio store. They have a lot of different apparel in here. And it's also a fairly crowded store. I am generally looking in a part of the store that's not super busy right now, so we're not gonna be able to wander the whole store. Ooh, the mug I really wanted from Orlando. I get a discount if I buy it here, 17 bucks. Maybe I should buy it and just pretend that I bought it when we were in Orlando. <laughs> I also really like this line of merchandise because it's just pretty classy, all uh, single color. I already have this mug, which is why I also wanted the other one, uh, because this is a very similar mug, but just a different look to it. $19 uh, for this one. And it has a um, water bottle tumbler as well. $29. And that's it for our time here today at Universal Studios Hollywood, giving you a merchandise update. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Click this video to check out one of my other Universal Studios Hollywood videos, and we will see you again next time.